Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great, great night. It is about 10 o'clock or so. And so for all the night owls that are still up, for all the moms that have their kids in bed, or dads that have their kids in bed, we are gonna chat about a couple things. We are gonna chat about black robes, perfection. We're gonna chat about how our family does keto or low carb. And we're gonna talk about the winners of the contest that we did. So. We're gonna hop on here and I just wanted to say a couple things. And I'll keep it short and sweet because I feel like sometimes when people come back on and listen, they don't wanna to listen to a 20 minute video. So we're gonna take off our black robes. What does that mean? I've heard this said a lot. Take off your black robe. Take off your black robe before you enter the store. Take off your black robe when you are at a convention. Take off your black robe wherever you go. What does that mean? So what's funny is I've heard that a lot. And so I always, I, I knew it meant stop judging people. But I, my husband actually had to walk me through the other day. I was like, what does the black robe represent? And he's like, Stephanie, who wears a black robe? A judge. I was like, a nun? I don't know. Don't judge me, okay? Take off your black robe. This is what I want to say about this page. Take off your black robe. This isn't about perfection. This keto journey, this keto diet here on this Keto Mom page, it's not about perfection. Our family's not perfect, and I can probably bet that you're not perfect as well. So sometimes when I post things, I'm literally looking for a yes or a no, or do you do this, or what are your thoughts on this? It's, it's collaboration as currency. What's working for you? What's not working for you? How can we make people better? That's what this page is about. So if I post a picture about ice cream or Halo Top ice cream, and if you don't agree with it, guess what? That's okay. Guess what? You have to understand, and there's lots of people, that whatever the case may be, that everybody's on their own keto journey, and it might not look like your journey. It might not be as particular, it might not be as perfect, it might not be to the same macros that you're doing, but everybody has their own journey. And so my thought is this, when somebody's eating this way, when they're trying to eat keto, when they're trying to eat low carb, you can eat like you should celebrate the fact that people are trying to be better, right? And so when somebody jumps on this page and they're brand new, and just because their macros aren't right or they're not strict keto or they might not be in ketosis nutritionalized but they might be drinking your product, does not mean they're not in ketosis. It does not mean they're not utilizing keto. Like there's so many different things that have to play in this. This diet, this lifestyle, even this product isn't a one size fits all, guess what? You can't hand somebody something or you can't do this diet and just expect somebody to figure it out all on their own for a couple reasons. I've gotten to listen to Dr. Dominic D'Agostino, Dr. Jeff Volick, a lot of experts in this ketone space. I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor. I'm a mom and I'm learning the same way you are. And so, and I've heard them say 80% of people either won't get into ketosis, they won't get into a high enough ketosis where they're utilizing fat as fuel, um, they'll fall in and out of ketosis. There are so many things that factor into that. So when people come on here and expect perfection, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, take off your black robe with me because I'm not perfect. My family's not perfect. We dove in on this journey because my husband wanted to be better. We dove in on this journey because I wanted to feed my kids better and then once we learned that, we started with low carb. And when you feel better, you fuel yourself better, you make better choices, and then you share that with people. So don't ever get down on somebody because their macros don't look like yours or because they ate Halo Top ice cream and you don't because it knocks you out of ketosis. It might not knock them out of ketosis. You don't know. And, and lastly, I wanted to say this. Have you ever thought about a couple of things? I was gonna give you some examples. One of them was this. What if you saw somebody eating Halo Top ice cream or what if it was a blizzard from Dairy Queen? But what if you didn't know their backstory? What if you had no idea that made, they might have been a single mom? They might have been on a strict keto diet for the last six months and they just wanted one treat. What if they just had enough that day that they just needed one thing? Now, some people don't cheat at all, but guess what? You don't know where they'd been that day. You have no idea. Take off your black robe. What if you saw me walk out of McDonald's this entire last 12 hours that we drove from Oklahoma to Minnesota and you saw me have a McDonald's cup? Would you assume there was pop in it? Take off your black robe. I walked into the bathroom. 
that was the only place my kids could go. We grabbed some cups for some ice water and we walked outside, but you don't know that, right? Like you could have easily assumed that. My husband and I were walking around the hotel this last weekend in Dallas, and I think we had a Sonic cup or we had something full of ice water because I love Sonic ice water. What if you judge me and you were like, hey, that girl has ketones on her shirt, but she's probably drinking a slushy. Take off your black robe. We aren't here to judge each other. We're here to help each other. Lastly, oh, sugar cubes. I had a big stack of sugar cubes in my cart at the grocery store the other day. What am I going to use them for? You thought, oh my goodness, look at that girl's preaching health and wellness and trying to be better, but she's got sugar cubes in her cart. We're using them for a video. There are so many things that we jump so quickly to judge people and don't do it. You encourage people. If you don't believe that you should eat something, that's totally fine for you. But guess what? It might be okay for somebody else. And this keto page is not about being strict keto. Some people are strict keto. I can help you with that. Some people just solely want to be better and make better choices. That's what it's about. So take off your black robe. That was the first part. If you missed it, go back and watch it. I think it's powerful. Second part is called EQ. There's a book that's called Emotional Intelligence. And if you know IQ, right, like how smart you are, there's something called EQ. It's your emotional intelligence, how fast you react to things. So I got the opportunity to sit on a telephone call for an hour with the CEO of a company that we love, that we respect, that we support. And I overreacted and he said, Stephanie, let me give you a little lowdown on something called EQ. I had never heard of this before. He was like, your emotional intelligence, you are a much better leader than what you just did. Stop overreacting to things. When you see something, collect the facts, calm down. Don't feel like you have to either spew out something right away, like figure out like, what is it that you want to say? You don't have to react right away to some people when they say something to you. EQ, emotional intelligence, there's an entire book about it. I just wanted to say that sometimes you see things on social media and you're super quick to respond. Collect the facts, decide what you want to say, and then respond. Um, okay, next, how do we keto? So we talked about not judging people. What does our family do? Our family's not strict keto. My husband is. And my husband drinks a product like this. My husband started this process. I didn't. Um, my kids are low carb. Why? Because I understand the power of food. I know that I can fuel their bodies better, but they don't have to be strict keto. They don't have to be. And my kids are always on their feet, right? So they're utilizing the carbs that they take in anyways. What do the carbs look like that my kids are eating? They love that skinny pop. Um, they love, what are if I get them chips, which is not often, like if we do like taco nights and they want chips instead of low carb wraps or just lettuce wraps, I'll do like an organic corn chip. Um, but there are a couple things my kids love and guess what? It's okay. But I don't buy buns. I don't buy bread. I don't buy, we take the buns off the burgers, the croutons off the salad. We grab lettuce wraps. There's things that we do in our home just to make it a lifestyle approach. My husband does the strict ketogenic diet because his body just needs to feel better. I go in and out of ketosis nutritionally, depends on how my day is going or if I might, I eat a lot of protein. I could be knocked out of ketosis super quick because I just forget to add some fat. So that's something that I would struggle with. Um, but I drink this. So we're gonna talk about the winners because I posted something yesterday or the day before about somebody, we've got three people. We were gonna do this earlier with my kids and then it got hectic and crazy. We forgot about vacation Bible school and we just got back, I put them to bed. So I already drew the winners. There's three people that are gonna win three of these, which is super fun. But this is what we use, EQ. If you don't like exogenous ketones, guess what? You don't have to comment, you don't have to use them. EQ meaning collect the facts before you judge something, whether it's this or somebody else's product, collect the facts, do the research. And by doing the research means reach out to me privately and say, what do you know about this? Where's the research at? Not just Google. Google can be great, but you're going to find positive and neg negatives on anything. You can go search anything you want. You probably could search Keto Mom and find something terrible. Hopefully you'd find something great. EQ. Okay, so this is what I drink. I drink it every day. It's called an exogenous ketone. Your body can produce ketones if you're new to this page. The ketogenic diet is great. It's super strict though, it's restrictive. Some people don't wanna do it, can't do it, fall in and out of ketosis. Your body will produce ketones. You drink it, or I'm sorry, you do a strict diet. You could pee on sticks, track your, test your blood. You, could, you have to weigh out your food. 
your body. Ketones are a fuel source. So my husband did this for a long time. I thought he was crazy. But I watched him do it. I understood it. Then there was a product that came that we started utilizing. And I started this way because being a stay-at-home mom of four girls and homeschooling them, I was like, I can't do this. This is crazy. But I want to feel better. I was tired and I wanted to not take a nap every day. Excuse me. So I took this. First of all, this isn't the flavor that we had, but this is called an exogenous ketone. There's Keto S, there's Keto Max. You drink it and you throw it in some powder, you shake it up in a shaker bottle, and then in under an hour, you're in ketosis. Some people say you can't be in ketosis because your body makes ketones. Here's a couple things. This will never make your body stop producing ketones. Your body will utilize the ketones that your body produces and this. Your body, this is a fuel source. This helps you with fat loss, focus, energy, appetite, cravings. Um, it helps me sleep better, helps my skin. Um, there's so many things. And you can just go Google and do some third-party research on ketones, ketones and whatever you're dealing with. And you would be shocked in finding how phenomenal ketones are. It started with researching kids and epilepsy, and it just went from there. So this is what we drink. And so this is what I'm giving away at the end of this little talk. I'll end very soon. So first of all, this product I love. My husband and I support this company, and this is what we do. We travel around and teach people about keto, the ketogenic diet, how we feed our family, and the product. If you want to try the product, there's lots of different flavors. Um, let me know. Personally, message me. I do a five-day experience to where you can try all the flavors without committing a month to one of them. So you can post a five below. I'll send you the info. If you need help with food, let me know. I've just got a list of foods that we eat that are just simple for the, probably the first six months of us eating keto or low carb are trying to switch our family over. I ate, I made the same things over and over again, probably three meals because I didn't want to get overwhelmed and stressed out. It took me probably eight months to switch our family to eating low carb. It was take one thing out, replace it with something else. Take one thing out, replace it with something else. And we've been able to do that for two years and we love it and we've never felt better and so I will post the food list below I can send it to you personally I can send you the five-day experience info and I think that's it so really here's the deal go back to the beginning if you just hopped on watch why I say take off your black rope we're not here to judge people you're not perfect I'm not perfect if you've got your diet on point there's probably something else in your life that you need help with we all do we're all striving for better right and so don't judge people. We, our family just does keto lots of different ways. Just because you're not in ketosis nutritionally and if you take the product doesn't mean you don't have ketones in your body. You do. I'll send you the research on it. So I love the keto life. I love seeing all this stuff. So I'll send everybody some information in a little bit. But these are the three winners that won three Keto Max. This is the lemonade, the raspberry lemonade. And this one's a new one. You can't even buy it yet. You could, you'll be able to buy it soon. But the people that my kids drew, the names are, um, I, I have to make sure I say them right. Okay, y'all ready? Dun, 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 dun. Her first one is Sarah J. Perry Smith. Sarah J. Perry Smith, you won three of these. If you're not watching, I will message you. Sarah J. Perry Smith, you get three keto lemonade. I'm super excited to send them to you, so I need your address. And then we have a Janelle Carr, C-A-R-R, -R. Janelle Carr. I'm not sure if you're on here, but if you are, you won three of these. And then we've got one more person. I might butcher her last name. I shouldn't because it's not hard, but it just, I don't know how to say it. Allison Gagan, G-A-G-A-N, Gagin, Gagin, I don't know, but Allison Gagin, G-A-G-A-N, G-A-G-A-N, Janelle Carr, C-A-R-R, -R, and Sarah P. Perry Smith. Y'all won these. I'm super excited for you to try these. You're going to love them. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, you can try these. We've got a, a Maui Punch, an orange chocolate, and you literally drink it. Puts you in ketosis. I actually help people start with this, and then we work on your diet and make it lifestyle approach. So it's completely up to you. I'd love to hear your story. Walk me through what are your goals? What are you trying to achieve? Um, and that's what we do. Like, it's not about getting into the gym and eating to work. Like, what's the saying? People go to the gym so they can eat more. That's not what this is about. It's about feeling your body better. And then we work up to working out and going to the gym or going on walks or playing with your kids, getting active, whatever that may be. So I'm going to let you go and share this with if you know of anybody that just needs to, needs a little oomph and go, I can do this. It's about being 
a lifestyle. It's about being better and it's about helping people out. So let me know if you have any questions and have a great night and we will talk to you soon.